Hey everyone, Mr. Everything here with the December 2014 edition of the monthly games with gold for both the 360 and the Xbox One. And before I get started, uh, there won't be any uh, future videos of Xbox One update for the time being because there aren't any more. I think they stated that they're done now until at least next year, maybe February or something, maybe January. I thought they said February. I'm part of the preview program, so I do get a like minor tweak fixes and stuff, but apparently no more big monthly rollouts are coming out now for a while. So there won't be any videos of that, but there's some, well actually there's a couple games I have that I'll probably review, and I was thinking about doing one on just the Xbox itself, again, since it's been a year. Uh, this month, obviously, I'm going to spend a little more time because there's some Black Friday deals here. The free game offered on the 360 is this game called The Raven Legacy of a Master Thief. It actually kind of looks pretty neat if I can get some of the screenshots to load here. Honestly, I never even turn my Xbox 360 on anymore, except for just to load or to do this video. Last month I wanted to. That's something playing there. Last month I, wa I wanted to download Red Faction. I actually forgot because I just don't turn my 360 on. I like to at least, you know, go to download, download it, and then cancel the download so it's in your purchase history. And there's also all these f deals with gold here. So F1's like $30. Uh, actually, there's a way to see more. If I go to this one. See, there's a lot of just all kind of things here. You get Destiny, Cheap, Madden. Actually, I know I was in the games section, so if you go to games and then browse games, you should see them in here. So there's like Red Dead Redemption, just tons. Now granted, this is 360, so you can find a lot of these games that cheap anyway, but if you have, you know, $10, 20 to spend, you can get a couple of games for yourself. And this is neat. This is a tryout Destiny demo. I don't know of one on the Xbox One, but there is apparently a demo for the 360, so I'll probably download that and check it out. I did try the beta for Destiny on the Xbox One, but it's basically, I think it's the exact same game, and I think even the visuals from what I saw were pretty good. Someone was selling a copy of Destiny for the PS3, so if I could get it for like $10, I might pick it up. So I might try the demo, because the 360 and the PS3 version will probably look about the same, and if I like this, I might just go ahead and buy that one. But now, let me switch over to the Xbox One. Again, just check out your 360 if you have one still and you want to get some good deals there. We actually get two new games this month on the Xbox One. Well, actually, no, it's still one, but uh, it's at least two newer ones because we were seeing that stupid Crimson Dragon for like the eighth month in a row. So you get this Volgar, the like Viking, and then which, what I showed you last month, and then this is like, was it Worms Battleground? Small game. Again, you know how we all complained about the indies and stuff on here is the free game. But, you know, with all the games that came out in November, there's really not that much to complain about now. You got Call of Duty, GTA 5, WWE, which I'm going to review that here in a couple days. What, Far Cry, tons of other games. Those are just some of the big ones I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, it, yeah, it'd be nice to get some better games, but uh, at least some really good first party games are finally out now. So if you go to the Black Friday section here, and then click on the games side, you see there's a good chunk of games here, like you can get Madden for, what is it, $30, $32, 10% on Destiny, that's not a very good deal. I hope people, I mean, I don't want to sound pathetic, but please just buy Titanfall, I really like that game. It does get a little boring, but for only $10, I love that game, and I bought the season pass because it was on sale like last month for $6. You can buy the season pass now. Well, I guess I can't see it because I bought it. You can buy the Deluxe Edition, which has the Season Pass included for only $13. I mean, that's a steal. This game is really fun. It's actually better than Advanced Warfare in some ways. It doesn't have all of the glitz and glamour and addiction replay factor that Call of Duty does. But for $12, it's definitely worth getting. So please get that game, especially with that DLC. Those are some great maps, but there's not too many people on there to play with. You can see some more deals here. Then you get like weird ones like Assassin's Creed 4. You can buy that on Amazon for like probably 15, 10, 15 dollars. Yet here it's only, what, 15 dollars off? That's a terrible deal. But some of these deals actually are good. So, like that UFC game is only 13. 
it, I'm not sure how good that game is. I did like the demo, but I'd see just for the visuals, and if you like UFC for $13, you can't go wrong with that one. So, that's about what you can expect this month. I would keep checking in. They might do some more, you know, quick sales digitally for, you know, Cyber Sunday or Cyber Saturday. Gee, I can't get there. Well, they're all practically cyber every day because the specials are so long, but technically Cyber Monday, even though it started like three weeks ago, they always promote it. But there it is. Check those out if you're interested. I'll be, this month, since there won't be updates, I'll be doing some reviews and maybe another review on the Xbox One console where we're at now with it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see these videos again for each month that I'll cover. And I hope you enjoyed it again. And I said again, again. So I'm just going to end the video before I make any more of a fool of myself. Thanks for watching.